You know, I thought that was how much mana my incinerate costed for a second. Oh my god, I've never done it before, but I finally did it, team. I killed myself with a caustic hollowed mana flask. <laughs> I've never done it before, I just did it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> team! Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So before I start this video, I want to go ahead and tell you guys that I am 100% completely fucking wasted. I'm like nine shots deep of vodka. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue on with the video. So today, um, I did indeed accidentally suicide and kill my character. It was totally unintentional. Uh, for people who don't understand exactly what happened, I'm going to give a little explanation. Basically, I roll a mana flask that says you, um, I don't know, uh, hurt your life by 15% of the total restored mana, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the point of it was I was using it to level up because it restored a, like quite a bit of mana. But at the same time, if you're CI, if you're knocking anything off of, off of a percentage of 1, it's going to go below 1, which is technically considered death. Basically, so if you hit a mana flask that's caustic, you kill your character. Anyway, though, I want to go ahead and show you guys kind of like the new character that I kind of want to theory out because I accidentally suicided the crit incinerate character. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and show you kind of what it looks like. So as I was playing my incinerate character, actually, you know what? I should just go ahead and show you guys what the character kind of looked like because that probably be, uh, that would probably be better. So let me go ahead and do that for you guys. So the character was actually not too bad. Um, the only issue I had with the character was probably just the lack of actual like incinerate range. It didn't feel like it was too long. And I think part of the reason for that is because I'm not using faster projectiles. And again, in my links, I'm currently using increased critical strikes, incinerate, faster casting, spell to actually fuck, I'm not supposed to use spell totem. I'm supposed to use GMP and fire pen. GMP and fire penetration. Uh, and then elemental focus and I just go I went ahead and respect the CI at level 53 now it would personally as for my personal opinion it would be much better to level as um, self cast freeze pulse because it just it's just so strong really but I mean crit incinerate does work I won't lie uh, it's actually pretty fucking strong like it's pretty insane I want to go ahead and I'm gonna actually play a totem build as my next character because as totems I don't really have to worry about the mana cost which is one cool thing and I think in general it's just gonna be pretty nice because when you play a totem character bosses become a lot easier because you can kind of cheese them you know what I mean you can kind of just place the totem down and run away with self cast incinerate I would have to literally stay there the entire time and I just don't really know if that's worth it but with two totems out right plus the incinerate um, projectile speed node I should actually have like it'll probably reach like the end of the screen over here which won't be too bad I think that's gonna be the next character of course I may think of something I don't know other than that up until that point but for now that's kind of the goal that we're gonna go ahead and focus with let me go ahead and actually that's not the right gem slower proj with GMP all right let's see how much damage we can do here all right boys let me go ahead and get some some charges up Alright, here's I got my wise dose going. Actually, I don't have proj weakness. Let me get proj weakness on. Okay, so this is just cruel dried lake. I'm level 53, the boss is 55. Let me show you guys what we're made of here. Come here, big boy! Mmm! Get shot, big boy! Alright, so the deeps is pretty legit. It's not that bad. Considering again, you just swap not proj weakness. Fuck, I keep clicking the wrong gem. All you do is you pretty much just swap your GMP for your proj weakness for a single target and otherwise you continue on to do day but I don't have an essence crafted helmet or sorry not essence crafted a uh, labyrinth crafted helmet so I'm still missing about 30% projectile speed on top of the initial 20% uh, additional I'd get from ballistic mastery so overall I still do think that the build would work um, but anyway with the newer build uh, what I want to go ahead and show is since we're already over here for Templar, we're going to go ahead and pick up Ancestral Bond, which will allow us two totems instead of one. I do believe I can apply Elemental Equilibrium now. I don't remember 100%. It's been a while since I've played totems. 
but I think I can still apply elemental equilibrium, which would be great because of the assassin node, um, deadly and or sorry, unstable infusion, which I know it doesn't show, but I'm going to explain what it does. It says you have a 10% chance to gain a power charge on non-critical strike. So if I were to go ahead and use a curse on hit setup, I could use something like ball lightning, curse on hit, power charge on crit, elemental weakness, and I would shoot out a ball lightning, which would apply curse on hit, which would apply projectile weakness, which would also have a chance of rolling the 10% chance to not crit, which would gain a power charge, which would also apply elemental equilibrium, which would be pretty cool, and it would also scale off a little bit of projectile speed that I have from Sniper. Uh, or, you know, you could totally use some other skill as well. I have to figure that out exactly how that works because it's been a while since I've played it. But in general, I think Dual Totem will kind of be better because it'll... I mean, Breaches was probably my specialty, but in general, it'll just be safer, I feel. Um, although I th still think that the self-cast variant would, would work totally fine. My biggest issue was that hitting strength requirements for Warlord's Mark was really difficult because I needed 155 strength. And in this build, I only pick up like 30 or some shit. So like, if you tag in 30 strength plus a 30 strength node, that's 64 strength plus another 30 strength node, that's 94 strength plus like a 50 or a 40 strength roll on a crystal belt, you can pretty much hit your requirements but you're still spending uh, two strength nodes and you'd probably want 155 decks for like Vol Haste or potentially even Grace as well. So I never really figured out what I wanted to do there but Totems just kind of feel so much better, you know? If you play Totems you don't have to worry about Reflect, that's probably one of the biggest things. Bosses are significantly easier because you can just summon the Totems in front and they'll just build up stacks and they don't mind if they get one shot. They'll continuously to build up the stacks. The thing about Incinerate is as you channel it longer, it has phases. So like phase one is like say 20% damage, phase two is like 60% and stage three is 30% and each one is a multiplier. So you want to make sure that you actually sit there and channel your Incinerate. Those aren't the exact numerics, but that's kind of how the skill works. And totems, again, like I said, don't really care about it. They kind of just sit there until they die, right? And by going totems, I kind of have access, or, um, I have access to additional nodes. Like, I get Shaman's Dominion, which gives me 20% crit multiplier, 20% crit multiplier, 10% uh, totem damage with 15% crit chance. And this node is 100% global crit chance with 20% crit multiplier. And I can spec around this way easier for Throat Seeker, which is crit multi, and Snowforge, which is crit, or sorry, crit chance and fire damage, which is pretty cool. So overall, hopefully this build works out a lot better. Um, I may end up going totems, or sorry, not totems. I may end up going bow if that ends up easier for the additional projectile speed, but we'll figure out exactly what's going to happen. As of right now, it looks like we're going to be going like increased critical strike chance, incinerate, faster casting, fire penetration, spell totem, elemental focus, and then we would use a jewel called rain of splinters, which would essentially allow us two additional projectiles with a reduced elemental damage or spell damage, which really isn't that bad. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Remember, if you did, feel, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Please rate me 1 out of 10 at how drunk you think I am, because I'm like an 8.5 right now. Anyway, hope to see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.